Good morning, I guess good afternoon now everybody. Welcome you all to the world famous mystery spot. My name is Tanner. I'm going to be your guys' tour guide today uh, on our journey through the mysterious. Right. So uh, how's everybody doing today? Very good. Very good. That's great to hear you guys. You're all doing good. Are you doing good? I'm doing great. Thanks. <laughs> I would like to ask though, has uh, anybody ever been here? to the mystery spot before, right? Is there anyone here returning? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, no one else? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, are you guys over here? Uh, how long ago did you guys first come? Over here? Did you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a couple years ago. A couple years ago? Did you have your hand raised behind us earlier? Yeah, we were together. You guys together, so a couple yeah. years ago, and then I saw yeah. over here? Uh, same. Same couple years ago? And then you guys right here? Yeah, four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. ago. Then no one else? All right. Pretty great. So most of you guys have been here pretty recently, right, within the last couple of years. If you guys have been here within a year or two, I can see probably not much has changed. But over that, right, I can definitely say that nothing's changed. Right? It's all the same here. Right? Uh, all the jokes are still the same. Right? But uh, for everybody else, right, if you've never been here before, you might want to prepare yourselves to uh, have your minds all blown right? on the journey of a lifetime. <laughs> We're going to start today with some history behind the mysteries. Get us going up there. So, the mystery spot, right? This was all discovered way back in 1939 by a man named George Fraser. Now, he was here on this property. He was actually trying to buy the big flat area to build him and his wife a summer. Now, the lumber company that was going to agree to sell it to him, they would only agree to sell it if he also purchased this hillside along with it, right? The main reason the lumber company was trying to get rid of the hillside was because they built maybe two or three buildings up there. Every building they built somehow broke from its foundations and just slid back down the hill, destroying all their buildings. Mr. Prather just went ahead and ignored that warning. He went ahead and purchased all of the land anyway. But afterwards, he sent out a team of surveyors, right, to get the boundary lines of all of his new properties. So when they came, they laid out the flat area. They found nothing weird on the side. When they were done, they simply started to just walk up this hillside over here, and immediately it got very mysterious. Now, the very first thing they discovered was they started to walk up this hill. About halfway up, they felt like it was about twice as hard to walk up, right? It felt like something was pushing up against them, making it harder. By the time they're at the top, they're just exhausted, truly astonished at how hard it was to climb up, right? You all look very excited for this one. <laughs> As they'd walked the though to the very top, they actually also got their compasses. Once again, they were surprised. Every single one of them was getting a different reading, right? So some areas, they were off by maybe two or three degrees. But some areas, they did go off to over 180 degrees. So north would appear to be south, south would appear to be north, and east would appear to be west. I'm glad some guys paying attention, right? One time I asked that, somebody just yelled, mystery spot. <laughs> it's not direction here. But lastly, the final thing I discovered was that the hillside was the only place that this was happening. Right? Nowhere else on this entire property was anything even close to similar happening. So when they came back, they tried to narrow the area down, and they managed to do so, and they managed to figure out that it had about the shape of a near-perfect circle. So they marked the borders with these two cement blocks. If you wanted to see the borders, it has a diameter of 150 feet, so if it was cut into two half circles, it would go straight through these blocks, right? carve up this hillside here. The first half circle would end about 150 feet straight that way. The second half circle would come down this hillside around here, you guys, I right, carved back down this hill and actually split these redwoods directly down the center. So the two blocks, they've been here since the 40s, right, to mark the borders in this result. Because they've been here for that long, though, you might notice that there's two giant trees behind me. In the 40s, they were not this giant, right? They were a lot smaller. So because they've grown so much, they just kind of popped our blocks up on the ground, made them uneven, you know. We had to fix that. So we got our mystery spot think tank together. We got our smartest minds on this. After many months of research, many dollars spent there, we came back with our patented solution. We call them two by fours. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. These are very high tech pieces of equipment, right, guys, right? They do level out our blocks uh, so they can't be used, right? You guys all know how a level works. I'm assuming, right, you guys, bubbles in the center, that means it's level. If it goes off to one side, it's the higher side, right? Can you guys all see the bubble moving around? Yeah. Bounces around the side there. It would mean that it's a uh, trick level, right? Level's not frozen in the center or anything freaky like that, guys. So we'll take level here. We can place the level right on the board. And if I do this, we should see that the bubble will want to go. All right, where does it go, guys? It's a little bit off. A little bit off? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll take this. I'll try to move it over a bit. Yeah. That didn't help. No. Is that looking? That looks like level, guys? Um, mostly a little bit. A little bit more? All right. Is yeah. that look good, you guys? Almost, yeah. That mm -hmm. looks level? All right, perfect. So I'll leave the board there. I'll just take the level, flip it around. We'll see that I do this. The bubble goes to the same exact spot again, correct? Would mean again the level's not obscured, right? It's not shaving down on one side to make it look more else even. So when you flip around, it's a level surface. But I have a very important question now. How many of you guys drove out here and you paid to see level boards, right? That's ridiculous. How many guys came out here and you paid to see mysteries and have lots of fun, right? Yeah. I saw two hands. What did the rest of you guys come out? <laughs> Let's get our first two volunteers out here. Are there any first two volunteers feeling brave? Want to try this demonstration? 
You got one going on here, Mr. Right? Yeah, then two going on here, sir. So you got two guys are gonna come stand on the two boards like you're sharing a pair of skis. All right, so one of you over here, one of you over here. And we're gonna see you guys. You can stand on top of the, uh, on the boards, just like that. Yeah, if you look straight across, we're gonna look that way. So you miss, you may be looking just about his neck right there. You sir, you're looking just over your head, probably about three inches. Have so you guys go ahead now swap, please. So everybody, watch closely. Oh, so you're no, are you feeling a little question. taller? Right? You, yeah. Oh, you've grown by a little bit. Congratulations, yes. right? Now, you, sir, you may have lost a little height. You don't have to worry about that. In the gift store, there's a big gal in the middle. You <laughs> chug the whole thing. <laughs> hey, great job, guys. Give me a round of applause again. Oh, Is there another two? Right, anybody else want to come give it a try? No, no. No, another two guys. No one's feeling up for it today. All right, we got one and two coming on, guys. We're gonna set up on the two boards. Like, so we'll see. You yeah. miss. You might be looking just about maybe the collar of the shirt. You sir, I'd say you're looking again just a couple of inches over. Right. Have you guys swap around? Congratulations, you do look a bit taller. Now, miss, don't worry about that, right? But there are no refunds for our losses. Yeah, they did a great job again. Let's keep our applause. All right, let's go, guys. We got the two. All right, is anybody else chilling up or going? Anybody else want to try to open it? One more volunteer, guys? Yes, you want to do it. I have one. I guess they have on the two boards. So we got a really close gap this time. How you swap around once more? So we should see. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you on this side. Congratulations! And again, just give that a couple weeks, right? <laughs> Great job again. Is there another two guys? Any final two? That's the first I would say. One, two, three. Okay. So we gotta stand up there one more time. Um, <laughs> you miss looking just above. Can you try you, sir? I'd say you're looking barely over. Look out there again. Have you guys swapped around? This is fun. You are you missing? Papa. You definitely have grown by really good. I bet my next year I'll stack right now. You guys are trying to get a last two. Come on up. You are so cool. Thumbs up. So you missed. Yeah, look about his chin. Are you sir looking just about on top of her head? Right, little gap. I think you saw that. No. 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 Nothing really going on. As soon as I cross the road, some people will notice something a little bit kind of different about me as I'm just standing around. Does anyone see anything a little bit off? Kind of tilted. I kind of slanted right about three degrees. Kind of hard to see, but we believe it is the cause of the high change. Again, the lean though, it's really subtle. If you want to see it a lot better, just look behind me. There's giant red ones, right? The first red one over here, if you're about outside the mystery spot, it grows fairly straight, fairly tall, like a regular tree, right? Well, just on the other side, the one that's still connected to the same root system, this tree grows inside the mystery spot. It has a very lazy lean, right? It will tilt off at that very slight angle, you guys can notice. And you can see there's this tree in the middle here, this one. Right, really confused, doesn't know what he's doing with his life, right, guys? That's why he works here at this one. There's also this Life magazine cover. Let's all look at this. This picture is from 1948. That is the Harding family inside our cabin up there. He's playing in great lean So this picture, guys, it's actually hilarious, because you all see this woman staying on the left. Right? That woman's name is Eileen. Wow. <laughs> well, she's leaning. I lean. Come on, guys. It's a great joke. I lean. <laughs> <laughs> if any guys thought that joke was great, you're going to have an awesome time in the store, right? If you not think it was that funny, that was our best joke. Make the hell of a Hey, everybody. Uh, use the hand mirror. Yeah. 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 Мы движемся вот по такой наклонной бетонированной поверхности. Действительно очень тяжело двигаться по ней. Уж не знаю, там нарочно это или так. Гравитационно, но двигаться очень тяжело. Там вот еще одна группа. Thank <laughs> you.
Alright, so I'm just gonna go and ask uh, how many of you thought that hill was kind of hard to walk up? Whoa. You got some hands, right? If anyone does not think it was that bad, you're gonna start running up and back, we're all gonna watch you. <laughs> As I look back there, does that hill really look that steep? A little, yeah. So you guys might think so, it's kind of debatable. People, people that don't think it looks that steep, they believe that what's actually causing it to feel steeper is the forces in this part. They're pushing against the front of your body as you walk up, making the first part of the hill harder to walk up. Yes, look at those then you're all walking nice. up and you all turned up this little second section where it makes it L, right? Then you guys find that little second part to be a bit easier. Yeah. Look at those. You know, people that turn there, they find it easier. Because if you imagine that you're Papa, walking into a force and you turn, yeah. they push against the side of you, right? So it wouldn't give you as much resistance on the front of your body. The they can walk up the hill maybe easier, right? Let's talk about more things like that, you guys. More forces. Let's make our way right inside here. We're all going to line up right along the fences, right? <laughs> Okay, you guys get up in the corner, get you along the back wall. Here we go, it's going to stuff on in here. We have a big group today. You guys are going to stuff on in there. If you guys want to overflow it on this way, we can bring it down. Just put it here. You guys are just now, because I'm trying to squeeze in just a bit more. Here, Papa. Just enough room for you guys to fill in this corner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all good now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stand up in front of the cabin here. And as I do so, I should get some of you guys looking at me a little bit different now. Right? I mean, I'm sorry, the lean that I was showing you down there is now increased to about 11 degrees. You guys might be able to notice, right? Lean here is a lot more dramatic. Because I do have a very large cabin here, this cabin is tilting in the opposite direction. This creates what is known as an opposing angle. Now, opposing angles exaggerate each other, so that would mean that because I'm leaning this way, it leans that way. That could be a cause of that, right? Now, I could be leaning more also because I do work here, guys. I'm a trained professional. I have this patch through you guys. I had to earn this, right? Like going to the gift store, buying it. Take your feet, though. Point your feet on downhill for me, right? Sorry. If you do this, you'll see you're not leaning the same amount that I am, right? The way it'll tell is when you look at your feet, they're going to be definitely about two inches out farther in front of you. Right? Kind of weird thing to look at. But as you relax your body weight, right, it will all slowly start to drift backwards on your heels, right? Unlike your regular heel, where it will go forward to your toes. But now, everybody, I want you to try this, right? Take your feet, point them the other way, right? Point them up, though. As we all do this, our feet will vanish beneath us, but we all do this at the same time. Take your hands, kind of put them behind you, and lean a little bit farther forward, right? And we all appear to be hit by a smooth criminal. <laughs> 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 she is my favorite underground artist. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this cabin, you guys. This cabin, though, it wasn't built like this. Right? Mr. Prather built this probably about 20 feet back up the hill here on a level flat surface. Now, like they warned him, this cabin did break from its foundations. It started to slide down this hill here. But unlike every other building, this one just right here just all of a sudden stopped. Can anybody guess how it might have stopped right here? Tree. It's a giant tree, guys. It's a great guess. I do like that. I guess you guys are those two, two giant trees next to the cabin. That's very plausible, right? Those two trees could look like they could have stopped it. But you must remember that this land was purchased from a lumber company. What are they most notorious for doing? Telling them down, right? We first purchased the property here and only had a handful of trees scattered about it, right? The two at the bottom are some of the main ones. They're about 100 years old, right? Look at how big those are. Look at these two. They're only 25, 35 years old. They're really young for redwoods, right? Look at how big these two are, and then look at most of the trees back up behind the cabin, right? None of them get any bigger than we really have, or than these two right over here. So, when you do the math, right? 25, 35, minus uh, 1942 when this was built, so 73, right? That only equals about 40. So that means that the cabin was here for 40 years before any of these trees sprouted out of the ground. Right? So there's no way that they could have stopped it, right? There was just a big open area down here. But you, know, you gotta think to yourself, if every other building just slid down the mountain, why did this one just stop? Right? Well, our theory is that what stopped it was the mystery spot, right? We think that as it slid off its foundations, it came to this exact point, we believe it passed over the exact center of the mystery spot. So the forces got a lot stronger and it started to push harder and harder and harder. So as the cabin slid over them, it kind of was just trapped, almost snagged in this one spot right here. After it was stuck here, we came along and on the side, you know, braced with these wooden beams, and it's safer to walk into. That's enough for that. I think if you're ready for uh, my next demonstration. We need to actually pull this out, though, to show you guys. There's a little ritual that must be done to make it work properly. 
You have to uh, give our equipment the universal sounds of amazement and wonder. The sound comes in two parts. The first part sounds very similar to ooh. Right, followed by deeper. Oh. You don't have to drop bass, all right? Oh, it's fine. And then pull that guys though. We're going to make sure you're all going to want to be as loud as you can because the louder that we can all be as a group, the more chances that 12, uh, the 1230 tour is going to hear us. They're going to get confused on what's going on. It's going to be really funny. Right? <laughs> it also means that my boss can hear you. He'll decide to start pegging me again. So you guys are all ready. Ooh. I was expecting a yes, right? That's okay. <laughs> I present to you all now the one. All right, the only. It's the world famous. And the most mysterious again. And for the delay, I do present to you all the board of mystery. Oh. 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 You guys have been kind of disappointed. Right? <laughs> it is a piece of wood. I know, you guys. It's not the most exciting thing. It makes you feel kind of bored, right? <laughs> I think it's pretty groovy, though, right? We'll place it right here inside the cabin. As we're looking to get this board, you guys, I'm going to take a really quick vote from you guys. I want to get, uh, get all your opinions. So, a lot of you are looking at this end of the board and you're thinking, that looks like the lower what? side. Somebody thinking that? What? Alright, how many guys looking at this same end thinking that could be the higher side? Yeah. You guys, alright? How many guys looking at that board thinking it could be level all the way across? Alright, perfect, perfect. So I got four people voted, right? There's 25 people. <laughs> For the rest of you guys, I have one last vote. How many guys just kind of not thinking at all today? That's okay. Around the board right here. And for this, I might need somebody that's really responsible. Anybody here, you know, feeling responsible today? Feeling responsible, miss? You're going to come sit right here. All you got to do is just look up at my level. And tell everybody. Level right here. Tell everybody again where it's at for me. In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of circles, right, guys? But if I were to take something round, such as a billiard ball, I can place a billiard ball on a level flat surface. And you might assume that what will happen. It should do nothing. It's like a pool table, right, you guys? It's a flat surface. No. If I were to give it a push, this would either do two things, roll off the end of the board or run out, run out of momentum and just kind of stop. Just give it a try. We've got two options, right? Roll off the end or kind of run out of momentum. Wow. 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 Let's try again, push a little bit farther. We'll see what happens. No way. Shut the front door, you guys. Try something. It stops. And it rolls right back. Okay. No. We believe that it is the forces of the mischief that are doing this here. These are all the same forces you guys just felt as you walked up this way, right? People that again see this, right? They can think, obviously, there's lots of things we could have rigged with this, right? We could have rigged uh, the board for us up, right? Look at the track that it's on. Imagine that we're cut in the shape of a V, right? If it got narrower towards the inside, you know, wider towards this side, uh, outside, and that make the ball want to roll up on the side. So if I can take the board, I can do a quick flip. Show you guys again, right? I saw the board doing this. We'll roll the ball on once more. Should again stop. Let's roll it to But it could even just be the ball, guys, right? I could have rigged the ball here with a magnet and a motor. There could be a tiny person, you know, running really fast. So. <laughs> this is what anything round, like a chapstick, you know, lipstick, roll 20, small child, anything round and big. Did you buy it? Did you buy it from the mystery store? You didn't know where. The straps are great, guys. We can get a little roll on the board, right? We'll see. Wow. Oh my god! Oh. Rolls back off. Let's try it again. You guys are right, rolling on here. We'll see again, right? Rolls on, stops, rolls right back. That's pretty cool. I would say so. I wouldn't use that for a couple days. But uh, you can be thinking, right? I could have slipped during 20 before the tour, guys. So what I could do is take something like a bottle of water. Guys. You can't really rig water. You can't tie a string into water. You can't really uh, magnify or magnetize water. I guess it doesn't work like that. So I'll get a little sip. And you want to roll it too? All the code this way, guys. Pretty cool. You see all the water does want to flow. None really wants to drip off the opposite end. So as it comes out, let's just check it out and see. This smells a little off. That's a vodka. Now for the moment of the moment of excitement, guys. We're about to enter the cabin. I have one rule though, save your pictures for like two or three minutes. I'm gonna get through some demonstrations. The faster I'm done, the more free time I'll have. And then also when you guys come in here, you may get a little dizzy, kinda queasy, right? You may get kinda slip around a bit. Be careful, take a few deep breaths let us have a few more often couple years, guys. <laughs> Мы, друзья, движемся вот в это строение кривое. Действительно здесь как-то переворачивает. Но тут еще пол, ну, кстати, бетонный такой, он наклонный.
Вот. Светлана забирается туда. Молодец. Идет. Да. И они там вот в этой избушке, значит, как-то так чувствуют себя не очень уверенно. Ну пол кривой, вы же видите, вот я сейчас камера у меня горизонтально стоит, вот пол вот такой. Вот паренек тут залез. На лавочку такой залез. Вы видите, они как то стоят, типа заклонившись. Мы всех завести в избушку. Группа ограничена количеством 25 человек. Видимо, 25 должны уместиться. Так, идем дальше. Ну что, мы можем двигаться немножко? 
сторону. Давай, 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 девочка, давай. Нет. Давай, давай, давай. Давай, вместе, давай. Давай, давай, давай. Так это выглядит так, с этой стороны. Молодые люди, а так уже страшно за спину. Он девушка, Работа. да, она йога занимается. Молодец. Да. Да, но народ с энтузиазмом экспериментирует. Да. Это дискуссия. Обычно приходит много индусов с аппаратурой они ее устанавливают замеряют, замеряют вы здесь проверяют. Не ну мы недалеко живем а, вот, поэтому да. вы места красивые на кульбе вы места хорошие ну конечно это сигвое да лес такой вообще фиг с ним тут с мистикой а места красивые So as you look inside the cabin, well, it kind of hangs over you, your head pops in first, you look inside, and what you see is a flat ground, you see four right angle walls, and you see a ceiling, right? So what you're seeing doesn't necessarily look like it's tilted, it's just, it is tilted, right? So your brain thinks that initially it's normal, right? as it starts to walk through, it's obviously not normal. So you get, you know, your brain starts to get dizzy, right? It doesn't understand why you're not lining up with the cabin. But at the same exact time, right, you're also developing a 17th relief. It's causing all the fluids in your brain to drift off to one side, causing your brain to physically also not know where it's facing. Right? So mentally and physically, your brain doesn't know what it's doing. Right? You get really confused for a couple seconds, right? You get really dizzy. Because of that, though, we had to put this bench right here. Right? This bench, people come out here, they can come sit on this, they can level themselves out, right? feel better about their lives. But when you leave something here for long enough, it will show a couple strange problems. But think about another. Place on the bench right here. See. You guys are gonna see what? It pops over kind of halfway along to that side. That would indicate that that side would be the higher side, right? This side over here will be a little bit lower, right? So I'm gonna take a ball, right? All you guys can do is take a ball, roll a ball uphill. And if we do that, we'll see the most normal thing you've seen today, right? That's a ball rolling downhill. You guys, I know, right? So, pretty simple, right? Not too strange. But where it gets weird is I'm gonna stand right here. This is the lowest side of this board. All I'm gonna do is walk uphill. As I walk to that end of the board, I'm not gonna say anything. Let's just see if anybody knows anything. So again, as I walk back, Uphill. Is anything off? No, lower. If I walk back downhill, it looks as though I'm getting slightly taller. This is a weird bench here. When you walk uphill, you get smaller. When you walk downhill, you get taller, right? When people see this, so they stop looking at the bench as much as they like to look up more at this roof. They assume this can be causing an optical illusion. Because right here on this side, right, I'm a little bit taller than it. It could be I look taller, right? As I start to walk down, it slowly rises above my head. It appears though I do get a bit smaller. That thing is done. That's a very plausible idea, uh, but I can prove this roof flat through wrong. Well. Can I actually do that with the help of someone about six foot? You're about six foot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you circle around here, sir. I'm gonna go as a stand right here on the end of this bench. You wanna just stand right here for me? You can face toward the crowd. Yeah, and then uh, give us a nice picture. Now I need about a 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, Anybody here about 5'9, five, 5'10? Five, we need about a 5, 8, 5, 7. We're about 5, 8, 5, 7. Going on your serve. 5, 6, 5, 5. 6, 5, 5, going on your serve. Then 5, 4, 5, 3. We're about 5, 4, 5, 3. So we've got a lot of helpers today. We're going to see I made a mystery spot version of AT&T's Raising the Ball. Look at service center. Look on that way. The person next to you is shorter, correct? Of course. Look at that towards the person next to you is taller. Agreed, right? Can you guys see the roof line behind you? Right? You don't have eyes behind your head, right? You probably can't see it. So just, just ignore that right there. You know, if you miss it very end, you sit on this very end, you guys are sitting in a swap around. So if you're in the end, you're going to sit around. Now you sit right here, and then you sit on that end, you're going to go and swap around. And you sit, you're going to stay in the middle of the end. Awesome. So 
As if all that salt around you guys, what are you noticing? They <laughs> <laughs> so are all again about the same height. So those two over there walked up and they lost a significant amount of height. These two walked down and they look a lot happier, right? I was going to ask that you all five would agree that you guys look about the same height, right? You guys are all on your It's very, very important. So we already know we can look at them, we can agree to the same height. That's what it looks like, right, guys? But they're not necessarily looking at the illusion. They're not, they said that they can't see themselves or they, they're not looking at the roof line, but they're seeing the same effects that we are. Now, if we're talking about the illusion that's causing this, that wouldn't make any sense. They're not looking at the illusion, but they're seeing the same thing. If you guys could look at something without looking at it, that's a great ability, right? That will be like if you were to try to go home tonight and watch your TV without turning it on, right? That wouldn't make any sense. So you can't really have something and be looking at it and then not looking at it at the same time. But I'll show you guys one final thing. We're going to have you, sir, and then you, miss just last time, guys. We're going to have you one last time swap around. As they do this, we're going to see she again walks uphill, loses a bit of her height, right? He again will walk downhill, and he's our next NBA all-star, right? Get across this yeah, the last part of this entire experiment, this last part is a bit of a side effect for you guys. So, you five are going to just want to focus your attention on a single point along this wooden beam. You pick a point, kind of just keep staring at that uh, one point. You take your right hand now, place your right hand on your stomach. Anyways, fine. The last thing I have for you guys, when I kind of see you five, you're going to start to bend at the waist to about 90 degrees. So, one, two, three, you're going to start bending down as well. And then everyone is going to give a big round of applause. Up and <laughs> These, uh, they're again used for a scientific experiment. They're used to study two people's heights on a flat and level surface. And these blocks here, they're not long. They're, they're no longer flat and level because of an event that happened in 1989. What was that, guys? Yes, a little pattern quick. Something this just going to crack these blocks down the middle. At the same exact time, they'll raise this side up by about one sixteenth of an inch. Right? Think about that. It sounds tiny, right? One sixteenth. But because the block is actually so long, and because it didn't just get snapped in half when it got tilted, you take one sixteenth, you multiply it by the entire length, and you will end up with roughly about a two inch height. So, right, so from right here, as I walk down, I do lose about two inches. This, is good, this can be shown a lot easier with the help of three volunteers. So, any three great volunteers? You come down, help us out. You got one, you're climbing here, and then, sir, you had your hand raised too. Then, one last volunteer. Come on up. So, I'll be this one here. You start to stand on this side, and you miss, you can come stand at the end. <laughs> So, you're going to be a scientist? Correct. Right. Right. So, you're going to scientist. Victor, which one looks taller? So, all I'm going to do is take this right, place it right on top. And you're going to use it as a reference. I'm simply going to raise this up. You're going to tell me to stop when you think it's at the very top. Let me guys go to swap places. So, he's going to walk down. And he's going to lose! About oh, two inches, right? <laughs> Great job, Sadie. So he walks out, he lost that exact height, right? Now let's say he were to walk back up the same exact height. Stand right here in the same exact spot. He would grow by two inches, right? That's exactly the thing. You stay right there. Yes. He would grow. Yeah, so tough. <laughs> Let me once again miss when I reach the, uh, the very top. Of this. We'll see that he walks back up. Let's see, does that look exactly the same? Guys? From his eyes up, right? Let's check this out. This is a nine inch level. He goes up to about right there. Right? That's just under halfway. Now, if you guys would know what half an inch is, that's four and a half inches. Right? Take about half an inch off, that'd be four inches. If you take two minus four, right? That leaves two bonus inches. Guys. So that would mean that you both just grew by two inches. Congratulations. <laughs> you both go up and talk, go up as far as I'll give big round applause. All right, nice. But um, everyone, I'm very sorry to say that was our final demonstration. Oh. oh. Guys, don't be too sad. I have a couple more bad jokes. Yeah. Have them rub their hands together. Yeah. No reason. Yeah. So, so give yourselves a big round of applause, y'all. Yeah. 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 Uh, I hope you all guys enjoyed it. So we've got two more quick things for us here. The first thing is to go to your mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 My name was, you guys, if you're not enjoying my tour, uh, or to defend you in some way, I'm very sorry about that. Remember that my name was Griffin.